2 Kings 5.25 Vahu va vaya amod el adonav vayomer elav alisha me ain ge chazi vayomer lo halak avdacha ane va ana and he came or and he had come uh, we'll have to think about that and he stood before his master and he said to him and the subject spelled out is elisha and elisha said to him from where gehazi uh, so we might smooth that out where have you been gehazi and he said and this would be Gehazi now, uh, and he re refers to himself in the third person, using um, typical circumlocution here, your servant. Uh, your servant has not gone where and where? This is idiomatic, so we might say, your servant has not gone anywhere. So the way I'm taking the narrative structure here is we have these two vav consecutive imperfects, so that the main storyline here is these two speeches. And because of the structure of a disjunctive vav on a pronoun with a perfect form verb, I'm taking that this is just continuing this background sort of setup. So, and when he had come and he stood before his master. So the nature of this then, this is sort of the setting, and then the action begins here. And his, and Elisha said, and Gehazi said, and we've noticed all through this chapter the strong emphasis on slaves and masters and this sort of thing. And here, Gehazi refers to himself as your servant, which we would expect. But interesting, the narrator also then frames Elisha here in terms of his role as Gehazi's master. So the narrator says he stood before his master. So this is a very strong emphasis, not just within the characters, but also uh, the narrative apparatus as well. Then the other thing to take notice of is the way that Elisha asked his question. He could have just said, where? And he could have even said, where have you been? But he actually names Gehazi. Where have you been, Gehazi? making this quite personal in uh, all of this by naming him in the question, even though it was part of direct address. So, great setup uh, to ask, where have you been? And of course, Gehazi claims, I haven't been anywhere.